Hello everybody, my name is Wachara, and this is Planet Crafter, another episode of my Let's Play. First of all, I just want to apologize um, for the lack of content lately. Real life has been, uh, it's been not great for old loots lately, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll all turn around soon. So, uh, I made the trip back from, we were over that away. Over there, there's a giant wreck over there, which we explored last episode. We still have to make a trip back over there, because we have like a, a little hut with some chests full of goodies that we need to do. I did already dump off a bunch of goodies in here. We got some different seeds, iridium rod, bioplastic nugget. We got some different, uh, like got different food seeds and different oxygen giving seeds, um, some super alloy, some blueprint microchips, some good stuff. Um, and I just realized I'm very close to having my terraformation index go over 175, which is good. Which is very good. I want to see what happens when we get that. And I need some water. So let's uh, let's do these blueprint microchips while we're here. We got a shredder machine. We got ooh an advanced crafting station. Okay, no. Okay, let's hold up. Let's. <laughs> we got the advanced crafting station because we went over 175. That was not from the blueprint, but we need one of these right away. Okay, so it takes 12 and a half power. Do we have excess power? We do. All right, so what do we need for the advanced craft station? Three aluminum, a magnesium, and a silicon. I'm pretty sure I have the aluminum in storage. Definitely have the aluminum. Um, what about magnesium and silicon? I am gonna organize these chests and label them at some point. Um, how do I label it though? Somebody said you could label them and I believe them. Oh, you just gotta target change text okay so yeah you, you just got to target the label directly makes sense all right so um i need magnesium and silicon magnesium is easy to find silicon a little less so um but that's okay it's fine we'll find some silicon we'll find the silicon we always do sometimes it takes us a little longer than we'd like but we find it Right. And somebody mentioned in the comments to put a drill over there and then I'll have all the aluminum I need. But I'm assuming when they say drill, they mean an ore extractor, not like a drill drill. I'm just going to pick up some ice so I can make some water. That's me making an assumption. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. I'm assuming they meant to put an ore extractor, which we which I don't have yet. Right. Um, while we're here, let's grab an extra silicon. Right. Since we had to come all the way out here for silicon, let's grab a couple extra because I'm sure I'm going to need them eventually. Nuclear reactor T1. Need three super alloy, two water bottles, and uranium rod, which I do not have, but it gives 86 and a half energy. That is a lot of energy. Shredder machine destroys objects placed inside. We need super alloy, uranium, osmium, no idea where we get that, and explosive powder. Okay, so that like we have a bunch of whatever that we don't need we can throw it in the old shredding machine right which will be good long term but obviously i mean i don't have osmium yet <laughs> i'm not capable i've never said i haven't seen osmium right and i'm sure i'll find it eventually just haven't yet it's the only thing all right so crafting station tier two would be right here um big yeah it's a decent size it's a decent size. Um, put it over here. Maybe. Yeah, that's pretty big. All right, so what can we make in here? Ooh, oxygen tank tier four. That would be good. Backpack tier four, also good. So we need a lot of super alloy though. It's three each, so that's six super alloy. Oh, we can make super alloy. Hey, look at that. And it's just common ingredients. Well. Minus the aluminum, but it's like one of everything, pretty much, right? Minus, uh, I mean, ice, minus ice. That's good, though. Oh, and uranium rods. Wow, that's a lot of uranium. Iridium rods, a lot of iridium. A rocket engine. Not sure what that's used for. And a jetpack. Oh, I can fly with a jetpack. That's what the rocket engine is used for, obviously. All right, well, um, yeah, well, that's a lot to think about. <laughs> How much super alloy do I have? Kicking around. I got two in there. 
there. So I can make one of those things, either the backpack or the other thing. So let's, um, all right, so what was it? Titanium? Just titanium in the super alloy, I think, right? I need to go get a titanium, but that's, that's not hard. That's scattered all over the ground out here, right? Not a huge deal. Get the titanium. But yeah, uh, content wise, I'm probably most likely going to be moving in the next week or so. Uh, so I'm, I'll try to get some content pushed out, but I make, uh, I make no promises. So I'm going to do the backpack first. We need to take the backpack off, right? And then we come over here, backpack tier four. Let's go. Equip that. Oh yeah. Look how much we can hold now. Nice. All right. So let's, uh, let's eat some food. Do I still have that meat on me? I do. Oh yeah, very, all right, so this food's probably grown, right? Yep. All right, so they automatically regrow. So let's go back over here, pick up some of the stuff that we left in the chests over here, run it back. Um, hopefully, hopefully there's three more super alloy or some aluminum or enough. Hopefully we can make or have three more super alloy so that I can get the better oxygen tank. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, let's grab this titanium while we're on our way. Um, I'd like to grab the iron, but no, I should probably save the inventory space for whatever we have in these, which honestly, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember what I found in there. So the sky is blue now. I'm assuming, you know, as you go through these steps, actual physical changes to the world begin to happen. Right, we had the, this was the, called the, when we hit 175, that was called blue skies. Skies are appropriately blue. Um, I think, I think I'm headed in the right direction, <laughs> roughly, give or take. I do have the compass now, I shouldn't, shouldn't be in doubt. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm headed in the right direction. Not a concern, particularly. We are about to hit 200, 200,000, I should say, terraformation index. Not 200. There's our little pod right there. I'm trying to remember, did I did I completely finish exploring in here? It feels like I, I don't know. It feels like I recorded last episode like a week ago. I know it wasn't that long ago, but that's what it feels like. So take everything out of that one. That one's empty. All right, so I can go back. I even have some space. So I'm going to pick up iron as I go. Wait, what's this? No, it's just ice with a different, <laughs> with a different tint. Because iron is the hardest thing to find around my base. I've already scavenged all the iron in the immediate base. And silicon, to a lesser degree, there's also not much up around my base. But iron is the main thing that I need. And I don't think I have any water on me, do I? I don't. All right. So I got to be careful here. <laughs> So my water is not super full, so I gotta, you know, I, I want to pick up iron, but I also don't want to dally too long out here. Um, let's pick up some ice so we can make a water bottle. I know I have ice storage at the base, but let's head back. Get the bigger oxygen capsule. Uh, we got tier three heaters we can make now, um, which is probably the play. I also wanted to go check out. Somebody gave me like directions in a comment for uh i think it was on the last video but like a secret i kind of want to go check it out i think i've interpreted their directions as correctly i could be wrong this could be a wild goose chase i apologize if it is um but i kind of want to upgrade a couple things at base before i go out there right all right so we got lots of iron probably not enough like, you, you, there's ne never have enough iron or never have too much iron, it seems. Iron's like the, the backbone of everything to, to some degree, right? But once we get ore extractors, 
I'm assuming at that point, maybe iron will be a little easier to come by. I'm hoping. All right, so let's make another doors locker. Boom. All right, so I'm going to slowly empty these, put them in here. But I think I'll do that maybe after stream or after stream. After I finish recording, I'll do some inventory management. Nobody needs to see that, right? All right, so I have one super alloy on me. All right, to make more, I need magnesium. How much aluminum do I have on me? I'm going to need another aluminum. All right, let's make a water before I do anything else. All right, well, let's throw some of this iron in here. I don't need this all on me. I don't need all these seeds. I don't need this iridium, right? Like, I mean, I need it, just not at the moment. I'm looking for an aluminum K. So we need we need two super alloys. So we need two of everything, basically. So we have we have two iron, we have two aluminum, we have two silicon, we have two titanium. We just need two magnesium, which should be easy to find, I believe. And then we'll need one more titanium um, to make the actual oxygen thing, right? Magnesium, magnesium, boom, done. Um, titanium, yep. All right, so titanium, magnesium. Wait, where'd the other magnesium go? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Closer to base than I thought. All right, so how expensive are the tier three heaters, though? Ooh, radium rods. Eh, maybe we won't make one of those just yet, and it uses quite a bit of energy. Quite a bit of energy. All right, so when do I get the... Isn't there... Don't I get a big thing? Um, I know, words are hard. Words are escaping me right now. Biodome. Biodome. So we're and we're only halfway there, so I better get some more heat going if I want to get a biodome. Um I kinda I don't want to place any more things that would go in the biodome until I have the biodome, if that makes sense. Alright, so super alloy. Super alloy. Oh, oh, I'm sort of cobalt. I forgot about cobalt. Yeah, well, cobalt's just trying to find the closest one. Like there's one right there. There's one right there. You know, there's cobalt around. <laughs> uh, let's drink this water now. There we go. It's interesting. Like water always fills you, right? Oxygen always fills you. But the uh, the food packets and the food raw food do differing differing amounts. So like food, you don't need to wait till it's empty, depending on what you're going to eat. But oxygen and water, you're better off waiting until you're empty, right? It's just weird. It's just not weird. It's just odd. You got to pay attention. All right, so let's take off my oxygen tank tier three. And let's make an oxygen tank. Oh, I need one more cobalt. Oh, my God. Just going to grab one more when I was up there. All right, there's a, this one's a lot closer than the ones over there. Should I grab an extra one? Just in case, I'm pretty sure that's going to be enough. Oh, and hey, do me a favor. If you're enjoying this video, enjoying this series in general, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. As a small little YouTuber trying to make his way in the big, scary YouTube world. All right, so better oxygen. Let's go. So the old one was 280. So this one's going to be, let's find out. I mean, obviously gonna be over through it might even be like four my guess is 400 that's making a guess 370 pretty close all right so tier two heater or sorry tier three heater needs an iridium rod i have enough iridium for that or wait don't i have an iridium rod already somewhere i can make one if i don't but i thought i did yep yeah, right there so there's the iridium rod and silicon and aluminum. Silicon and aluminum. 
Why did I click there? Yeah, see, I got to organize these chests and get them labeled. <laughs> clearly. That's clearly should be near the top of my list of priorities right now. <laughs> um, 17 energy. I'm pretty sure I can do 17 energy. Yes, most definitely can. Probably also going to be huge. I want to check. Can I put this outside? Okay, to me, it makes no sense that this stuff goes inside. Right? We're not, it's not heating my room. It's heating the planet. Right? Why doesn't this go outside? Legit legitimate question. Like, if I put a foundation, will it go outside? Or is it just to give you extra busy work, extra things to build? You know what I mean? All right, anyway, that does 28.5 extra heat. That's a lot. 0.6 extra pressure, a little bit of extra pressure, but it's all about the heat, right? Like, this is 4.5 heat. That's 28.5. The little tier 1 heaters, which I don't have uh, any more of, they give, like, half. So this big one is worth, like, almost 60 of the little tier 1s. It's kind of crazy how, like, hard you tear up in this game. Um, all right, so what's next here? Well, I want... I want the biodome, right? And now that we have that heater, this is going up much faster. Uh, what's this grass? Ooh, grass spreader. That's interesting. What do we got next here? Launch platform. Greatly speeds up the terraformation process by sending rockets into space. Okay. Down here. Okay, we have the ore extractor coming soon. Good. That'll be good. All right, so I'm going to go on a little field trip here. Um, thought I had water somewhere. Uh, let's just make a water. There, I do have water there, but let's make a water. I do have food on me. Got an oxygen capsule just in case. So the comment said to go over to the rock formation between this area, this biome, and this biome. I'm pretty sure. And then point towards the starting area, just down there. Follow the rock wall with your deconstructing deconstruction to tool out and you will find a secret so i filled up my auction so let's head over so do i gotta is it over there there is a little crack over there is that what they mean we will find out and hey somebody this person could be trolling me too right like it's not what is that no, it's just titanium. Okay, so I'm assuming... Okay, so no. Uh, wait. No, so I got to go back, I think. I think. And I could be... I could be misinterpreting the directions. So I think I go wrong along this rock wall, then. Follow this rock wall. With my deconstruction tool out. And I find a secret, and again, who knows? Hopefully something cool. Well, that looks suspicious over there. Kind of, right? No, no, oh, oh, oh. Do we have here? Oh, that's half of a person. <laughs> You sent me here to die. You knew it was impossible. You don't even care. All you care about is profit and colonization. That reminds me, I have a new message back in my base. Whoever, whoever ever thought it was a good idea, go to hell. The plan was never forgiveness. Be cursed. Sentinel Corp. All right, well, Shio Dan. Shouting? Shouting? Not happy. Ooh, oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Pulsar Quartz. Can I fit everything? Almost. Man, I have so many seeds. Like, once I get my biodome, I have so many seeds. But, I mean, uranium, super alloy, um, some food seeds, other seeds, the pulsar quartz, a blueprint microchip. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. Man, like, thank you, by the way, for that comment. They were not trolling me. Um, I am going to go, or am I close? My little starter hut, close. One of my little starter heads, I feel like it should be. I don't really want to use, yeah, right over there. I don't really want to use an oxygen capsule, but I want to go, I kind of want to go up there, right? 
Although, my inventory is kind of full. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to base. Um, drop off some of this stuff. And then I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna come back here. I guess I could drop it in here. Yeah, ooh, I have super alloy. And fabric and yeah, I, will. I left a lot of good stuff back at this base. All right, so I'm gonna do a little inventory stuff here. I'll be back and go explore that little uh, ravine, canyon, crack in the wall, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I brought everything from that little scouting trip back, including the stuff that was at my original little base. Uh, I've started converting these original chests over to the big ones. Uh, I realized though I <laughs> I buried the screen. <laughs> behind these chests so the next stage is clouds so let's deconstruct this screen let's uh <laughs> let's put it somewhere else um this is a wall screen right yeah so what wall will i not be covering ever? i mean these are going to be moving there we'll just put it here so we're 65 percent of our way to the clouds so the clouds should be coming relatively soon uh, inventory right now. We got oxygen. We got water. We got food. We have nothing else. Um, so let's go over here and explore this. Uh, I don't know canyon. I guess would be what you would call it. Also, I noticed when I was coming back from my little starter base, it seemed like there was a lot of iron down there. And maybe I didn't pick it as clean as I thought it did, or maybe a bunch of meteors hit and dropped iron, or maybe it respawns. I don't know. All I know is there was way more iron than I thought. So at some point I'm going to go grab all that iron. Uh, but I got to get my storage organized first. Like I have those large storage containers, but they're not. Uh, certainly wouldn't call them organized just yet. Actually, I should be picking up iron right now as I go. We need iron. I'm trying to remember what I need for iron, iron, titanium, iron, titanium, silicon. So I need a couple titanium. Need at least three iron, and we need a silicon in case I need to build one of those. Get in out of the elements. Um, silicon, silicon. There does not appear to be any silicon anywhere. Like I said, there's all kinds of iron down here, though. There's silicon's right there. Oh, I see a chest in the uh, in the canyon already. So that's a good start, right? <laughs> I mean. I'm going to assume it's probably just basic ingredients in there, but it might be some food. You know, it might be some super alloy aluminum, which, I mean, finding those isn't as exciting now because I know how to get them on my own. Um, a little bit a little bit of everything here, but let's just take it all. Let's break this down in this container. Away we go. Now, this might there might not be anything up here, but I'm kind of thinking there probably is. Right? Just my, my video game intuition. That, that ice. It's funny how they have different hues based off the lighting and stuff. Alright, so this is definitely a different biome. But is there any different materials here? Like, what was that new material I saw the ingredients for today? Oh, it was. I won't see it here. Oh, no, osmium. Osmium, like maybe there's osmium out here, right? I don't know. I mean, there might not be. Oh, there's a wreck, small little wreck, but it's a wreck nonetheless. All right, so let's put living compartment. Oh, no living compartment. You're gonna be able to get in it? Come at it from this direction, maybe? What? Oh, Thought I, uh, I was short of titanium. I had to go real far for it. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get in. I can't get in. Oh, I didn't want to deconstruct the whole thing. My oxygen's getting low. I just want to... I just want to be able to refill my oxygen without using an oxygen thing. I'll put a chest here. And we're just going to tuck away some of the more basic things. Right? Like... There's nothing special about this stuff anymore, right? Right, and yeah, I mean, this is a wreck, but it's not a wreck wreck. No, there's a chest in here. Yeah, well, blueprints. 
blue pair microchip is always good aluminum i mean there's nothing super fancy but i mean i'll take it right every time <laughs> oh i can hey, can i deconstruct this oh 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 it let me deconstruct the solar panel um all right well, let's talk i did not expect that <laughs> so let's talk some more basic type stuff in here because there was at the very least there was an aluminum on the ground which we know we want the aluminum right cobalt's kind of meh but i mean basically i can just do this right oh i let me grab the silicon that's in here this is the whole planet-wide power thing, which baffles me. I'm still surprised it's a thing. I can just put a solar panel here, right? I can just put it there. That way, it's an extra 19 and a half energy. Pretty sure it goes all the way back to my base, right? Pretty sure. Not positive. But pretty sure. And I can just take everything now. But I definitely feel like I need to come back here at some point. Right? And... Maybe explore this a little more thoroughly. There's another chest, more solar panels that I can probably deconstruct. Actually, what? Um, so this is this is not the way I came in, right? But I feel like this is going to take me. Okay, yeah. But only I'd finish that thought ten seconds sooner. I was going to say I feel like this is going to take me back to the aluminum area. We just kind of did a circle around this rock formation, right? So we got a little safe spot we can fill up our auction here. Although auction's not nearly as big a deal now that we have the 370 uh, tier four auction container, right? But I mean, we're here, we might as well fill up. And we need some food, so let's eat some food, some space food. And I don't need to drink quite yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back home, um, stick this stuff in storage. I think I might actually take a few minutes and organize my storage somewhat. Um, yeah, let's take the take an aluminum <laughs> out of that chest and aluminum on the ground. Yeah, obviously, once we get ore extractors, definitely going to put one over here. But I think that's going to be all for this video, folks. Like I said, I'm just going to go home, do some inventory management, which is not exactly exciting content. And maybe this is some people, right? Some people are into inventory management porn, right? Um, but yeah, next episode, maybe we'll go, uh, maybe we'll go explore deeper into that cave. Maybe we'll try to get some nuclear power going. See if we can greatly get our terraformation index popping, right? Um, but that'll be next time, folks. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join my Discord. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Check out my second channel. Links in the description down below to all of those. Most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.